again my equestrian friends it's me lisa the budget equestrian welcome back to today's video and in one of my more recent videos i did a makeover of my horse frisbee and people really seem to like watching a horse get a makeover so i decided this week i wanted to share with you ethan getting a makeover now ethan's makeover is a little bit more in depth than frisbees because i was pretending or playing whatever you want to call it that we were gonna get ready to go to a horse show. Now, I've never taken Ethan to a horse show. I've never braided his tail. I've never braided his mane. So this was a really good dress rehearsal for the potential one day that I'm going to take him to a real live show. So instead of me standing here just talking to you and telling you about the makeover, let's go see Ethan get made over into a hunter. So this is Ethan, all ready to get groomed and turned into a little show pony. He's not in horrible condition, so he's not going to get a bath today. He's just going to get a really good grooming. His tail is ready to be braided. So the first thing I did was grab my grooming tote to have everything close by. And then I began grooming him. And the first tool that I used is a round massage curry. And this works really well to get the deep down dirt and dust kind of brought up to the surface. And it really helps to distribute the oils to the top of his coat. He's dusty. And you can see he's already pretty shiny, so this really helps to bring out the shine in your horse's coat. And once I finished with the massage curry, then I used a hard brush, and this is a Haas rice root brush. And it's a real stiff bristle brush, and it really helps to get rid of the dirt and dander and I'm just kind of banging it into my curry comb as I'm going along and brushing his body and down into his legs. And I didn't want to bathe his head and I usually don't bathe my horse's heads. So I just took some baby wipes and really kind of wiped down his face to get any dirt off of his face. Look at that dirt. And then it was time to trim up his bridle path because it's been about a month since I've done that. And of course I had some carrots in my pocket so I could give him some treats to keep him happy while I'm continuing to groom him. And then I just took some baby wipes and wiped off the hair, cleaned up around his ears, and just made him as clean as I could for our dress rehearsal. And then it was time to braid the tail. Now this is the first time I've ever braided his tail so I think you can see he's munching on some hay to keep him happy and then I just started braiding his tail. And to braid a horse's tail it's basically like you're doing a French braid. So you take a section of hair from the center and then a small section from either side. And what I learned from doing this is you don't really want to take too much hair from the sides otherwise as you work your way down the braid will get really thick. And I braided the top of his tail down to the end of his tailbone and then just braided the rest of the tail all the way down to the bottom of the tail. And then I put a rubber band on and then I just kind of tucked up the long braided part up underneath the French braided section of his tail. Then I used some rubber bands to kind of hold everything in place.
And once his tail was braided, I decided to give him a little shot of fly spray just to keep the flies away because the next part I was gonna be working on was his mane. And I didn't want the flies to be bothering him while I'm trying to braid his mane. And this was also the first time that I braided his mane completely, like in little hunter braids. So what I did first was section off his mane and basically made little ponytails. So that would help to keep the hair out of the way while I was braiding each section. And I already braided most of his mane, but I just kind of wanted to show you how I braided it. It wasn't really hard. It was time consuming. It took a long time. And the braids are a little bit thicker than they probably should be. But I thought he did really well standing and just being patient with me while I was braiding his entire mane. He was a really good boy for this entire process. So I just take little sections and just braid them. and this is the end result. I folded the braids over on top of themselves and made like little buttons. And then I had to try and braid the tiny, tiny forelock that he has. This was a little bit challenging and I know I need a lot of work at braiding a forelock. It looks kind of funny, but it looks okay for what we were doing today. And then I just added a little bit of hoof strengthener, hoof hardener. This is Kevlar hoof hardener, I think is what it's called. It gives a nice shine. It's not necessarily a hoof polish, but it works. And then I put on his tack. So I put on his bridle. as well as his saddle and hunter pad. And this is the end result. My cute little hunter horse, all ready for our pretend horse show. There's our braid, looks pretty good for our first attempt at braiding. Now, this is Ethan being presented as a hunter. It was a lot of work, but it was also a lot of fun. And I can't wait until we actually get to do this to go to a real horse show. So what do you think? That was my first attempt at getting Ethan ready to go to a horse show. Now I know my braids weren't perfect. I know my tail braiding wasn't perfect, but the more you practice, the better you become. Just like riding, just like anything else that we do when it comes to our horses. So I think it's important for myself personally and for Ethan to have these dress rehearsals and just practice at grooming, braiding, trimming, all of that stuff because in the future, that'll make it a lot easier on him as well as me. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY product reviews and horse related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I will.